Hello. Hello, Leo. How are you, Leos? How are you? I hope everyone had a great day. Staying positive. Keeping humble, Leo. <laughs> right? Making it do what it do, baby. Making it do what it do. Yes, yes. Staying healthy, hopefully. Keeping your social distancing. Keeping safe, right? For you and your loved ones. Right? We about to dig in your energy. <coughs> the energy of my Leos in the room, my subscribers. Welcome back, babies. Welcome back. It's tea time, babies. It's tea time. See what Leo may need to know for the month of February. Right? Some messages, guidance, little beams of light, little beams of inspiration to take along with you on your path, on your life, on your soul's journey. Little inspiration as above, so below, right, baby? As above, so below. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, you are welcome into the room. Give me clear, precise messages for my general collective of Leo. Right? Helping me, helping spirit, helping me and guiding me to give your, you guys my perspective of what I feel and what I think and what I see in the cards. To help you to reevaluate, maybe. Or give you an aha moment. Or help you to understand something. If it resonates with you, awesome. Take what's for you, what's not for you. You leave it behind, baby. You leave it for Cinderella. If the shoe don't fit, you leave it for Cinderella. If the shoe fit, you wear it, baby. You wear it. Hopefully to the ball. Hopefully to the ball. Can we get some clear messages from the spirit animals, oracles for Leo for the month of, for the rest of the month of February? Week or two ahead for Leo. Messages from the spirit animals for Leo. Can we get some messages? What they may need to know, what they may need to hear, a little inspiration. A little guidance to take along the way in their soul's journey. Whoa, we dropped half of the deck. Okay. The lions was there. <laughs> well, the lioness, the lioness was there. Oh, look, she came back out. The tigers, they tigers. I thought they was lioness. My bad. The tiger, fire. I choose... To be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Ah. <laughs> it ain't a lion, but it's a tiger, right? Shit. Close enough. We even got the cool girl on the bottom. I don't know if they like uh, cousins and family and, and all that, but I don't know. But yeah, Tiger came out and Cougar is on the bottom, assertive. It says, I choose to be unstoppable. Nothing and no one can stop you. Not if you're dedicated, not if you're, if you're consistent, not if you show up for yourself. Hard and raw every day, every day, going for what you want, determined in a positive manner without stepping on others, you know? 
We have the hunter and we have the prey. And there is a natural, uh, there's a natural way. Although it may be graphic, although it may be gruesome, although it may be whatever, and you know, some people, you know, uh, end up on the prey side of things, and some people are the predator, right? Um, there's a natural way of being in that cycle. <clears throat> and so if you are attacking only for the benefit of um oh i got it all on the tip of my tongue and i can't and i don't know how to let it out basically the tigers kill to eat they won't just kill to kill right and so basically in your um elevation into success or into whatever your passion is my power it says i choose to be unstoppable my passion is my power i am bold i am brave mighty forces come to my aid right so that means even the mighty <laughs> i love doing leo because y'all just y'all just y'all on a whole nother level for real so While you're unstoppable and you're running and you're, you know, right towards your goals, your dreams, whatever it is about, whatever it is that you are trying to do, right? Tiger, fire, right? Only take down what you need to eat. Like, don't just run over people just because you can don't just devour the whole flock because you can. Only take what you need. Okay? Don't over nothing. Okay? Only take what you need. Just so that your intention will stay clear and just so you will stay clear of karma. Because when you're unstoppable, people get unstoppable. They don't give a fuck. Who is it? Whoever's in the way is going down. It's going down. You got to get the fuck out the way. Okay? It's like a, 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 tra a stampede. Like creating a stampede. Full speed ahead. Okay, Leo? Full speed ahead to whatever. To whatever. It says... I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Mm -mm -mm. Honey. Can we get some more messages from the spirit animals for Leo? Can we get two more, please, for Leo? Spirit, ancestors, angel guides. Can y'all guide me to give Leo good, clear, honest messages that they may take on this path that they are on, full speed ahead, unstoppable. <laughs> oh, he said, I am lying, hear me roar. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, we got something. Uh, giraffe, visionary. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Absolutely. Absolutely. And those are lying qualities. They are the Leo's qualities. They have a big heart. They go hard. They go strong. Um, they're fierce. They're fierce. They are fierce. Yes, yes. So stand tall in your power, um, in your direction, 
and uh, you can see clearly at your vision at what it is that you want to do or where you want to go or, or or whatever people, places, and things. Right? Stand tall in your self worth. In your self worth, never belittle yourself for anyone. Never uh, shrink down so that they can rise up. You are the king of the motherfucking jungle. Okay? Never kneel, baby. Never kneel. Humpback Well Singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Woo! All of them said nothing can stop you. I choose, and because you choose to be unstoppable. You choose to be unstoppable. Rise above earthly matters. But be humble, Leo. <laughs> okay. I mean, let's be humble. Okay. Yes. Yes. You are above. Yes. You are above earthly matters. Um, your aura, your persona, um, the way you can take up a whole room, the way that you, um, the way you move, the way you talk, something about you, something about you. There's just something about you, right? That gets you places, uh, get open doors, um, you know, um, just a little bit more, a little, little shinier, a little, uh, a little, a little more expensive, a little bit more. It's just something about Leo. There's just a little bit more about them, right? And so let's be humble. You got the humpback whale singer. So, although you're unstoppable, baby. Let's be humble. Let's be humble. Let's not cause a trampede. <laughs> Let's be humble, baby. We're going to throw some tarot for the Leos. <clears throat> Leo, baby. What's the tea for Leo? Let's the T. They are unstoppable, baby. They got the eye on a prize. Some of them are just going, 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 going. Um, We're going to try to stay humble, right? Because we already know who and what they are. So they don't have to put it out there, okay? We got the Queen of Cups, and we got the Fool. We got the Queen of Cups, and we got the Fool. Um, the Queen of Cups. Uh, first one out. Queen of Cups, Queen of Emotions. Um... Uh, um, <clears throat> like being one in spirit, Queen of Cups, Pisces. Um, uh, she's a, a, a natural caregiver. She's, uh, um, uh, She's full of love. She's full of emotions. Um, it says take a leap of faith with the fool. Um, there can be a... Uh, the Queen of Cups, like I said, it represents Pisces. And the fool making me feel like uh, engagement. For some of you. Maybe engagement with a Pisces. Engagement with a Pisces, maybe. Let's see. 
to see what come out next. Engagement with a Pisces, taking the leap of faith. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. It says the Queen of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Pentacles. I kept looking at the Queen of Cups because I was looking for the energy. I was trying to feel out what it was, right? Only thing Spirit was giving me was that it's a Pisces. I'm just a messenger, <laughs> Leo. A Pisces. Taking the leap of faith, starting at zero. This is zero card. Taking the leap of faith. She got a big ass rock in her hand. Maybe a proposal. Some type of proposal. And it's a new beginning. A new beginning. Uh, your seed. A new seed growing. A new seed growing. Maybe with a Pisces. It could be you. It could be them. But... In the middle, between the new beginning and the Queen of Cups, there's an engagement. There's an engagement. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So, and it's magic, baby. And it's magic, baby. Somebody creating magic, baby. Somebody's creating magic. Balancing it all out. Um, somebody don't see this coming. Somebody don't see this coming. Somebody don't see this coming. It's going to catch you by surprise. Uh, or you're going to catch them by surprise. Somebody don't see it coming at all. At all. And so it might be a magical situation because um, Leos tend to be romantic. That was too many. That's why I put them back. Uh, but I did see the lover's card just to throw it out there. <laughs> FYI. <clears throat> Leos tend to be very romantic. And so um, there may be a Leo um, planning on a special um doing something special for their mate for valentine that's gonna have to do with proposal a magical whatever somebody ain't gonna see it coming at all they're not gonna see it coming unless part of the plan is to blindfold them <laughs> but they're not gonna see it coming Okay, new beginning. <clears throat> new beginning with the Queen of Cups, baby. That's a whole bunch. Uh, this way, this way. A new beginning with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love, baby. The Queen of Love. The Queen of Love. Um, uh, there's gonna be um. People cheering for you. People happy for you. Um, um, it's making me feel like it's going to be an amazing um, proposal. Like it's, it's going to be beautiful. Like someone is going to be really shocked and surprised. But happy. Um, the King of Cups. <laughs> I don't make this shit up, baby. I don't make this shit up. Here goes the king of cups, the partner, the the the, the my person, my uh uh what you call it? My uh your person, your soulmate, your twin flame, your your future, your 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 uh soon to be um fiance, future husband.
I don't make it up, baby. Okay? So, whether it's you or whether it's them, both of y'all is on the scene. And it's magic, baby. It's magic. I'm about to show y'all in one moment. It's magic, baby. <laughs> Queen of Cups. The Magician. And the King. So this is a meant to be situation. Okay, Leo, a meant to be situation. It's a proposal coming for a new beginning. Okay, a proposal, a new beginning. People are gonna be happy for you. Uh, uh, you're gonna have help. Maybe from family, from friends. Uh, if you know, if this is something that you're planning, you may need to seek out help. Okay. You may need to seek out help from others so it can go off with a blast, baby. Go off with a blast. Beautiful, intriguing. Oh Lord, Lord, Lord. <clears throat> uh, so we got the devil. Um, in this situation, <laughs> in this situation, I don't feel like it's a bad thing because remember that he was also an angel at one point. And so it's making me feel like, um, what the message wants me to say is that, um, there will be a, a bonding, um, a bonding. Like, y'all probably going to be addicted to each other. Um, y'all going to be um, um, clingy to each other. Uh, can't live without each other. Addicted to each other. You know, that type of shit. <laughs> it can be good. It can be bad. It depends on, you know, what you like. Do you like somebody to worry about you all the time? Don't you, do you want someone that's going to call you and ask you where you at and what you're doing and are you okay and did you eat and, 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 and I'll be home at this time and where are you and, uh, you know, like care or do you want somebody that don't? Depends on you, what type of relationship you into, Right? For some of you. And then we got a whole bunch. So it depends on whoever it is. Um, this will be a bonding relationship. If they say yes or no or whatever. And then we got the five of pentacles. Um, so somebody may be getting cold feet. Hopefully not you. Because of... Um, um, maybe feeling overwhelmed, uh, maybe not knowing if you can get it done a whole bunch again, uh, maybe you feel like you may drop the ball because I keep dropping a whole bunch, uh, have faith in yourself, right, have faith in yourself, and I have two intuitive people here, the king of cups and the king and the queen of cups, and so, um, I don't think that you would be jumping into a situation where it would not be benefiting you because maybe um the king of cups and the queen of cups are basically you know like emotions like your feelings like intuition like love you know like um compassion and, and stability and, and and being sensitive and emotional to each other's needs and so i feel that there's no need to be afraid. Ask for help. Because there will be a mutual bonding. Don't be afraid. The key is right there. The situation is not as big as it seems. You see the door, how huge it is? It's not as heavy as you think. It won't be burdensome. It can be blessed and blessings. 
depending on people's actions, right? And balanced out between you and them or the divine and the material world or um, um, uh, your spirituality and, 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 and your muggle life or whatever, but you can balance it all out. So there's no need to be afraid of taking the leap of faith and moving on into the first, into the next step because of the simple fact that it started with the zero at zero at zero meaning this is a new chapter we going into a new chapter a new beginning it was zero and then it was the ace of pentacles a new beginning whether it be in love finances whatever it is that you choose to be unstoppable right so that was your first one out for the oracle. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. That even sounds like something you can tell yourself in the mirror every morning to give your oof, right? Fluff your, your mane up with. <laughs> yes, honey, because there's no need to be afraid in whatever it is that you're going to do because you can succeed at it. Just don't be overly cocky, right? And we can get it done, baby. Always, always with good intentions, moving forward and up, forward and up, right? For Leo, for Leo, we have, don't involve yourself with whack shit. You are the king of the motherfucking jungle. Don't play with me. Don't ever, don't ever surround yourself with people, places, and things that are whack. That are below you. That are, uh, I mean, I mean, I said be humble. <laughs> but don't ever forget that you need to stand on your throne. And that you need to be, the, you know, to your full potential. And that, you know, um, don't ever lack your confidence or nothing like that. You know, go on, go on a whack shit cleanse for a week. Oh, yeah, they got to go. It's easy. Make a list of whack shit and then avoid it and see how you feel. Examples of whack shit. Examples. We're going to give you a motherfucking list. What you stay away from, baby? Gossip. Comparing yourself to others. Never. Because you're not even supposed to be on their level. So, I don't know what you're doing. Eating your... Oh, God. That was disgusting. Uh, Anyway, we're moving on. If you really do that, stop it like right now. Eating your boogers. Well, that was really gross. But uh, don't involve yourself with whack shit, people, places, and things. Stay focused. Stay focused. It says you was unstoppable. And so you guys could be that. And, 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 and stay on your path and on, your, on what you doing and what's helping you and what's not helping you. Well, damn, half of that shit went... I can't keep all that. That's way too many. Um, and we have no equals a full sentence. So, yes, you can say no. Just no. No explanation, no whys, no whens, no whos, no hows, no nothing. Just no. You know what punctuates that sentence? Action. Action, baby. Action. Don't talk about it, be about it, baby. We spend so much time explaining our boundaries that we forget to just have a fucking boundary. <laughs> Say no and quit participating in what you said no to. Remove yourself from the situation if you have to. Be your own boundary. If it don't feel good, if it don't sound good, if it don't... Uh, 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 if it don't resonate with you, if it if it if it if it don't make you feel, um, if you have to come down to address it, then it ain't the fuck for you, okay? If you have to come down off of your level, off of your throne, off of wherever you at to address the situation, then it ain't for you, baby. And it ain't for you. Remember, 
Put your crown back the fuck on. Fix it. Hopefully you ain't dropped that bitch. But, you know, fix yourself up. Get yourself together, boo. Shake that shit off. And look at a motherfucker like, baby. Baby. If there is, has ever been not the one, it's the fuck the day. That's what you tell them. I am not the motherfucking one. To thine own ass be true. <laughs> to thy own ass be true, baby. Yes. Shit. You get you you better be true to yourself. Even if you ain't true to nobody in this whole wide world. Don't lie to yourself, cause who the fuck is you fooling? The most common thing that holds people back from health and happiness is an unwillingness to be honest with themselves. True story. It's been unscientifically proven. Owning who you are, what you are, what you struggle with, and where you want to be is the beginning of self-love and freedom. Kind of like when Sir Mix-a-Lot finally admitted that he likes big bucks. <laughs> that he likes big bucks and cannot lie. His life blossomed after that. He like big butts and he cannot lie. I know that's right. To thine own ass be true. To thine own ass be true, Leo. To thy own ass be true. Okay. I'll give you a little couple of these romance. Romance. Whoa. Romance angels. Past relationship. You have known each other before. You have known each other before. So this person that you might be um, heading towards may be someone you knew before. Or this person heading towards you may be someone you knew before. Okay, so it may be an ex. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. The signs are cautioning you. So I hope that there ain't no three-person situation and that you got to make up a choice because uh, I hope you choose correctly. Um, the devil is out here like this. I was trying to give him a good benefit of the doubt, but he's still the devil, baby. <laughs> make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yes. Great love. It's worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Take the leap of faith, baby. Take the leap of faith. Don't be scared. Go for it. Call the person you want to call. Um, go see the person you want to go see. Tell them whatever. I miss you. I love you. I think about you. Um, I like you. <laughs> I mean, if if, it's, if, it, if if you shy, which I don't know, I, I, I don't think I know a Leo that's shy, but it, whatever, whatever you want to say to this person, even if it's something really little, uh, it say no is a full sentence, but hopefully you say no to something that ain't for you, Okay. And that was your tea, baby. That was your tea. <laughs> Smooches.